All right, you beautiful people. Kyan's here. We new episode three of The Void. We are not in a good situation starting this episode. We have fires at the entrance to the kill zone. Yan is dead and our guys are all pretty beaten up. Levin has one condition that needs tending. Dog is in stable health and Kiki is in stable health. We have found a guy here, Moti, and he has a Ceramite Advanced Vest, which is good. Well, good quality, and it is good to find it, so I'm not even mad about that. And an excellent Muffalo Wool Baller hat. So we got some decent kit coming off this raid. Not enough to trade out for Yan. None of their stats seem super good, but we will go over. Industrious Misandrist, not interested. Jealous is a little bit of an issue. Capable of cooking. A possible recruit. And not interested in tea. But what we'll do is we'll get the rest of them to put out the fires for now. And then I am going to need to look into turning this into granite along here so they can so they can't keep burning our walls down. Otherwise we're going to have this issue on almost every raid. And it's not going to be too long until we're pretty beaten up and we're going to have to heal far before we can have a chance to put the fires out. We'll get Levin to self-tent. Kiki's on an assaulting spree, not a massive issue, we can deal with that. We'll get some granite walls in now. And everything in here we'll put to haul urgently, and someone's starving. Okay, Levin's down, we'll get Dog to go over and rescue, I oh, know he's back up. doesn't seem too bad he is just about to have a mental break but hopefully once he's eaten he should be in a slightly better mood we do have a corpse here for some reason I'm pretty sure I told people to haul the corpses so we'll get the dog to go and haul this corpse out of the way because we do not want that around here I'm going to get Kiki to prioritise healing that vest because one of my guys will chuck that on straight away. That is a serious bit of kit. We are going to need to put some more storage in because we are running low. So if we go with the tool shelves, we can make them out of steel and they can hold eight things in each of them. And then we'll also put down a pallet or two. We'll put those in wood. Not because I want to put them out of wood, but it's because we are going to start running out of steel super soon. Okay, dog's rested, so we're going to heal, uh, prioritise hauling Yan. And I think what we'll do is we'll get him to pick up some explosives. Send him over here. Find Jan's body. And just throw a grenade at it. Cool. And colonist is now buried. <laughs> I don't have any fire at the moment, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would have just burnt them. Okay, we have the red worms attacking us. They are just a tribe. Not to underestimate them. But, I don't think they're going to be super great. This is good though, Farsighted and Restless. If we can capture Trobo, that'll be good. Borba? Borba would be good as well. Kangaroo, not too interested in. Senra would be good. Not interested in Barrow. Okay. Basically, most of those guys, if we can capture them, we are going to be better off for it. So I'm happy with that. 
The granite walls are coming along pretty well, so we shouldn't have to worry about fire too often. We've got a war revenge. If I just click it, that's a bit easier. Okay. So, attack the tribes. Kiki looks like he's got the ceramite vest. One of our guys has, an, has the adamantium vest. And we'll get everyone to defensive positions. If I can press the right button, there we go. Sweet. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, were you one that we wanted? Yes. Amazing. So, let's get Levin to prioritise tending to himself. Loser, capture the weaver. And dog, do what you do best and hunt them all down, mate. Yeah, not a chance. We're not going to capture them, so we'll just let them get away. And it would have helped if I hadn't sent them in the wrong direction. That is, uh, yet again, my micro striking. We'll change uh, Levin's sub out for the LMG. I think we're looking all right. Not amazing, but we are looking all right. Then we'll change Borba over to reduce resistance. Carry's resistance is nearly broken. And I've got no power, so I can't do even do any cooking. So we're eating raw food, so I am expecting some mental break soon. How did you get the infection? We literally just tended you. Okay, not a problem. We'll put Levin number one on patient, so then he can just go and rest up. Dog to rescue Kari. And prioritise tending. Kiki will prioritise tending. Bulba. Why can't you tend? Okay. In the meantime, we have the Blackwater security coming in. Not rocking crazy good equipment. But is that an... Yeah, it's an adamantium simple helmet. That is really good for us. Take it, that's going to be... Yeah, just a steel helmet. Standard flak vest. And nothing too great on the other guys. I think this could be going worse. Definitely could be going better. Capture Bulba. It's already turned in. Cool. And now we've got a bunch of mad Ibexes and not paying attention again. And they are coming to our base real quick. Kiki moved down one so you can have an angle. Move out to engage dog and cool. Vance, you got anything good on you, mate? Okay. Got a poison wire. Even though it's, that's definitely not what it's called. I just can't read that at the moment. What do you do? Psychonic abilities. Okay. Means you're not flammable, which is good. 
and you can go in minus 20. What are the drawbacks? Not too sure. But let's go check the stats. Nope. Nope. And your dead set doesn't matter. But we want that adamantium helmet, so we're going to strip. The Ibex Rams are coming in now. We'll put Levin on uh, rest until healed. So I don't really want him going down to an infection. Off with just lost Jan. That would not be ideal. Cool. We've got so much axe there that will sell for a bit as well, which will be quite nice. We'll get Kiki. I thought. We uh, had stripped Vance, apparently not. He definitely needs stripping because I want that adamantium helmet. Because that thing is going to be insane. We can still lose eyes and stuff if we get shot in them. But we are not going to get like killed just from a headshot. Which is going to be pretty awesome. Observed a rotten corpse. Yeah, I imagine you did, mate. And the orcs have arrived. Okay, we're not <laughs> we're not doing so hot here. Has to be said. I think I think we literally pick up the Aramite helmet, Adamantium helmet, and then we just nuke everything here into oblivion. Pick up the helmet. Swatch out swap out two grenades. Draft, throw a grenade. I mean, what could go wrong? Okay, that's a bunch of them down. And let's check another one. We did just blow a hole in the wall. Let's get a grenade here for when the orcs come free. And change back to the stub carbine. Always forget. Always forget how quick orcs are. And I blew myself up. Wow, I am playing so well. Okay, amazing. Dogs bleeding out in six hours. Orcs have a tendency to kidnap people. So once we start finishing them off, we are going to need to get in close. Otherwise, they're going to take dog with them. Yeah, they're already trying to kidnap him. There's pretty much no way we can make that. And the orcs are quicker. That's Levin down. Try and take Levin. But if we can take that orc, we don't lose Levin. Obviously... Dog's pretty much done. We're not getting dog back. And they're out of the map. Thankfully they dropped the stub carbine, which is like the best weapon there. Yeah, didn't deal with that very well at all. Awesome source. <laughs> and I thought we were doing good for a while and then yeah everything just fell apart super quick Uzer is having, about to have a mental break running low on food why just not put power there change your storage over to weapons no uh apparel so no tainted apparel, took everything, tainted apparel off. Copy settings, paste onto here. Cool. Right, 
Well, thankfully, there's only one body left out there now. And who's my best shooter? Shooting of eight, shooting of five. I shouldn't be out of rice. No, I've got plenty of rice. So I'm actually going to need to get some cooking done, otherwise we are done. You know, I'm pretty sure we're done now anyway. Um, Geeky's going to be number one on cooking. Hopefully that helps us out. I don't think it will. I reckon everyone's going to be eating raw rice. Which is going to annoy everyone. And for some reason we're feeding the survival meals to the prisoners. Slight oversight on my part there. Geeky prioritise cooking there, mate. At least we equipped the stub carbine. Right, at least we still have the carbine. That's uh, like the best thing that we have at the moment. We are in trouble. It might actually be worth just us uprooting and moving to a different tile. Immunity, Oof. 94 to 85. It's not too bad. Okay, we'll prioritize the loser on working on that wooden pallet because that's going to be able to free up a lot of space in this stockpile. Okay, manufactured and rural resources, I don't really mind. I just need more space. Developed an immunity, bang on mate. Let's get him to eat instead of sending it to the prisoners. Because if my guys start having mental breaks, it is game over. No two ways about it. And I think we lost our researcher as well. So, <laughs> yeah man, we are. We're doing good. We're doing super good. What could go wrong? You know? Welcome to RimWorld. Lemons on an assaulting spree, which is not the end of the world. A little bit annoying, but I'm sure we can survive. Let's get the body out of there. Oh, I forgot there's still two more at the top here. This seems to be like one of the most difficult bits about Void. It's just the amount of corpses you've got to get rid of. If I was running with like a team of psychopaths, this would be well easy. We've got some manhunting turkeys. Let's get them to defensive positions. And let's see if Levin can get away before they catch up to him. The White Gant. Who are you guys? Looks like another group of tribals. Not super impressive. Wait, Levin, calm down, mate. You're starting to annoy me. I mean, I don't understand, like, why people have some mental breaks in this game. It's like... Okay, so you're fighting for your life. You're at, like, the edge of what you can survive. Why do you then go, oh, yeah, do you know how I'm going to deal with this? I'm going to start insulting the other people that are looking out for me. No, I just feel like, calm down, mate. Okay, let's see what they've dropped for us. Nope. Maybe... I do need a new researcher. I don't think that we're in a situation where we can support free prisoners, though. 
but I definitely need a researcher so we can get batteries so we can deal with this like power outage problem. I guess we could always put down more wind turbines, but that still doesn't solve the problem if the power goes out. Solar won't help because we haven't even, you know, researched it yet. So that's not really a thing. And they're starting to eat without a table because the simple meals are up here when they should be down there because we don't have enough room in the stockpile. Actually, if I just get everything here, put it onto the hall urgently, and then you'll just see what they can start moving around. We'll let everyone sleep up for the moment, and then we'll do that tomorrow. Levin's up. Levin, mate, I've got a job for you. Really one thing. Cool. We got some space. This is going to work out a lot better now. Let's go through the gear. Ceramite vest. Plain t shirt's not great. Flak vest. Where did that Adam Mansion helmet go? Also, where the Adam Mansion helmet? Because that's going to offer him some very good protection. We've got two more tribes coming in. I think just getting them out of the, this zone here is going to be enough for now. Okay. That went alright. No. You're not any good. Cool. Back to it, boys. Okay, we still got a warden, so <laughs> it's not a, it's not the worst situation. It's not a good situation, that's for sure. But it's not the worst. So we should be able to hopefully get one of them recruited. That'll be super good. I probably should get rid of all of these things on the side, clothes. Okay, we have some elder coming in. Now the problem with the Elder is they are beyond quick, like ridiculously rapid. And they hold power weapons as well and they can just absolutely carve through your guys like nobody's business. They've just decided to steal stuff and leave, which isn't an issue. You can't recruit them because they're classed as animals and you can't get their armour either. Not at the moment, I think that's going to be added in later in the mod. But that power sword's pretty beast. And so is that. I mean, if I got some animals together, we'd probably just get all of the valuable stuff, move, find another tile to settle on, and then we'd have way better equipment. Obviously, we'd have less people, which wouldn't be as good. But we should be able to get a base up nice and quick. We've got better stats now, and then we'd have better equipment. And I think we'd be in a decent little situation. But we'll see. I don't think animals are going to be a thing though. Okay, got a serious heat stroke. That is obviously really, really not good. Outdoors 42, indoors 41. I kind of want you though. Um, 
Let's put some temperature regulation in. Overwall, overwall cooler. And hopefully that does the trick. Or you can get it before it's too late. Got a manhunter pack. Oh, there's a bunch of night mules. Um, <laughs> that is not that is not what we want and I've got people outside as well and we have the murderous hive coming in ok there's there's nothing too serious there in that hive do we get in before the night mules get us is the real question going to put Kiki here Going to save that defensive position. We're going to need to move back. Disengage, boys. Right. Well, I want Levin to go low, loser that way, and then Kiki that way so we don't accidentally get each other in the crossfire. Bang on. So that's those dead. The murderous hive seems to be waiting for something. I'm not sure what, that's a little bit weird. Okay, now they're beginning their assault. I kind of need loser in this fight, but he runs the risk of having a mental break. Ah, we gotta do it. I'll get Kiki to come out and then just start kiting the big grub. What's your name? Megapede. Hit the target. Kiki there, pull Levin out, and then Levin can go have a go at this. Megapede. I'm literally not sure why Kiki is so adamant that he's not going to eat. I know it's, um, What's it jobs of opportunity does it but that just seems like really stupid that's not even really a job of opportunity that's just being like yeah <laughs> no not the smartest of moves I think we actually have to finish off this mega beat or it's just going to keep coming back and harassing us continuously Okay, that's cool. It's now bleeding out. Gonna need to go in and gonna need to give in and get a wood fire generator. I really dislike using these because they just chomp through your resources, but right now we need power. We don't have power. Other than the wind turbines obviously now going off, but we just need something more reliable. Zerta. Nope. Not interested. I mean, that deserter quest, if they were like a insane character, then that would be cool because you'd take it because it'd be worthwhile. But 
they're not they're normally absolute garbage then you're just left with this like rubbish character and you've annoyed the empire so now they're against you and it's just like oh yeah smooth move mate We need to start tiling down, making things look nice. I think we'll start moving in some marble chunks. And let's hope this starts to pull together. As soon as we get some power armor, we are absolutely golden. So long as we can kill the person that has the power armor, we are gonna be on for a winner. Because at the moment we're literally just wearing bulletproof vests and like flak jackets which don't offer a crazy amount of protection. I mean, Dog had good armor, but he's not here anymore. So it's not that good. Standard flak vest. Standard flak vest. Ceramite flak vest. 144 sharp. Protects torso, neck, left shoulder, right shoulder. So, it's good, but it's not amazing because it doesn't offer like a crazy amount of protection group of feral splitters have arrived. Awesome. What are their masks like? Useless. Armageddon trench coat. You any good? It protects just about everything. I like that. 24, not great. Devil Strand. 42? 42 is still not insane. Uh, it's definitely not bad. Alright, and Kerry has joined us. Sweet. Forget that, forget that. Pretty sure I got like an LMG kicking around. There we go. Kerry can have an LMG. Starting hauling stuff, that's perfect. Gonna equip some armor. Cool. Alright, and the splitters are beginning their assault. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I need to bring this episode to an end. So thank you for watching episode 3 of The Void. All your likes, comments, sub support have been amazing. You guys are awesome, and I'll catch you on the next one.